In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of different topics as it relates to text. Now, one of the questions was, what about a vertical text option here in EasyStone? And that's definitely something that we can add. Now, vertical text is not something that we probably use on a, on a real regular basis, but when we do want to create uh, some type of vertical text design for, for down the leg of a, a pair of... Uh, um, lounge pants or something to that effect or, or down even down the sleeve of a sweatshirt um, it the way we do it in Corel draw to create vertical text it's a bit cumbersome and strange that there isn't already some type of function in Corel draw for doing vertical text um, and there really isn't a function per se there is a process to create vertical text in Corel draw and I want to show you that process because I think if you have a better understanding of what uh, how to actually accomplish something just with CorelDRAW, um, you'll better appreciate what the automated software does for you, um, but, but also you just have a better understanding of how CorelDRAW works in general. And then another question that um, is, is somewhat related is uh, Sue uh, sent me this design that she's been working on some, um, some easy templates where uh, some different banner shapes where we can automatically apply uh, different text in these various banner shapes. And she's like, well, I got, a, I got the results I was looking for in all of these shapes, but for some reason for this particular shape up top, I didn't get the results that I expect. Now, so you have a better understanding of what we're talking about, let's open up our font manager. When we're using the easy envelope function, we have horizontal, vertical, original, and putty. And so those are the four options that Corel Draw gives us. Those are the only four options we have. But watch what happens if I type out, let me just type out basketball here. So I type out basketball. Now I do need to make this an easy place of, uh, placeholder. So to do that, I'm just selecting the shape and hitting shift, easy envelope. And all that does is actually change the name to easy placeholder. So that just it lets Easy Stone know what the heck we're, uh, what, what this shape really is. So now if I select my basketball and my shape, now if I use original, we get that result. Whoa. And, and uh, if I use putty, I'm going to right click so I maintain my shape. We get that result. Okay, well, that's not going to work. So she's just kind of going through all the options here. Right click. Uh, that's better, but not exactly uh, what we had in mind. And then finally, we have horizontal. And of course, that's not what we had in mind. So why are we getting the results that we're getting? Well, the reason that we're getting the results that we're getting is because Easy Envelope is not a cure-all, fix-all solution depending on what it is we want to do. So in this particular case, I know in my head what I want that text to do, but we're using the wrong tool to do it. So let me show you. What we're going to do, in all of these cases, we wanted the text to actually change their shape. So if you look at all of this text, it actually changed the shape. The, the letters themselves have changed, have morphed, have, have, have you know, skewed in one way or another to fit that shape. And what we're really looking to do here is we don't want the letters to morph and, and change shape. We just want to spread letters across this arch. And so when you do that, you, you wouldn't use the Easy Envelope tool. What you would use is you would select the two shapes and you would use the Text to Path tool. And that will place our text on this path. And then from there, we can, now if I zoom in tight here, when I click on my text, see that little, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to see, it's a, but it's a little shape there. And if I select that, I can move my text anywhere I want to on this path. Okay, so now I have my text there. And now all I would do is come in here and I can set the height of my text to whatever I want it to be. And then again, I can move it down where I want it to be. Now, if I want the letters spread out a little bit, I can grab my shape tool and I can spread those letters out a little bit if I, if I so choose. And then, of course, I can move this back over here to wherever I want to. And so that is how we would go about fitting the text to that. Because that's actually what I want to have happen. I want it to look like that, like this, this shape here. 
In fact, I guess I want to keep, um, and actually in this case, I actually want to delete both, both shapes and just leave my text. So anyhow, that's where it's a little bit different than these banner shapes below. Um, so we do have that text to path option um, here in Font Manager as well. Now let's talk about vertical text. Vertical text here in Corel Draw is a little, like I said, a little bit screwy, but basically what you have to do is you have to draw a path. In this case, we're drawing a vertical path. Um, and then we're going to take some text. I'm just going to use the word eagles for this example. And we'll just do like we did before where we're going to do the text to path option. And once you have that text to path option, then there's some additional options here in our toolbar. And if we choose the last option, that's a vertical text. So you can see now Eagles is vertical text, and we can select our Eagles text. Let's, let's make it bigger, like maybe 80 points. So let's do 80 points. And if we want to change the spacing of the letters, then we would grab our shape tool to do that. I and then you have this little handle here where we can just drag it, drag it down a little bit. And we can spread our letters out however we see fit there. And so that is how we go about doing vertical text. And then, of course, we can click on our path, click on it one more time, and we have just our path selected now. Hit the delete key, and then we, you know, then that's our vertical text. So that's how we would go about doing vertical text. Um, so it is, it is pretty straightforward that way. But there is a few extra steps, and if, you know, if we can automate the process, then it'd be just that much easier.